How's it going, you outlaw legends? I'm Red Nitrate, and welcome to my new content for Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode video, Part 2. Now, I didn't think there was going to be a Part 2 for this, because um, I looked at the official patch notes that came out as a part of the Red Dead Online Summer Update 2020, and the only change that uh, they mentioned in a few different sources was uh, weapon lockers, which is why I did a video on weapon lockers. Um, however, what it didn't mention um, was that there are a few other very cool additions as well. Now, I wouldn't have become aware of them if it wasn't for some very perceptive viewers uh, that were in the comment section of my last video that I did on this. Um, so I want to give a special shout out to Obi-Wan Kenobi, who let me know pretty much um, everything that I'm using, in, you know, to make this video. Uh, you know, meat and the weapon wheel and uh, cursor changes, uh, the pyjamas that, you know, I put in the uh, thumbnail that I'll be showing to you later. Uh, so big, big shout out to you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Thank you very much for letting me know that very important information. Um, and also a special mention for Joni, uh, who also let me know about the meat in the weapon wheel thing. So, mentioning that, I may as well show you that first. So before, this wasn't available in the game, if you come over to your item wheel, and then where it, is, where it says provisions on the left hand side, if you scroll over a bit, you can now see that we do indeed have meat in the weapon wheel. Very, very cool, because prior to that, you had to go into your satchel and, um, you know, actually, you know, select it sort of the long way, doing it that way. You couldn't actually do it how you have, like, you know, cans of food. Um, so that is absolutely awesome. Makes having a bit of pork super, super easy. Um, now, other than that, the other thing that there was was that uh, so, cursor changes. So prior to this, if you, say, like, came down uh, you, to, to, I don't know, story mode, for example, as you often do, because you're going to save the game regularly, uh, you'd come back out, um, and then when you'd come back into your weapon, uh, sorry, not your weapon, when, when you'd come back into the main menu, normally it would be back here at the top, uh, at, you know, where it says map. But now, wherever you leave it, uh, on the menu screen, it will remember where you've been. So, say you're leaving it on progress. Come back in, still there on progress. So this is super, super handy, like me, I'm a, I'm a habitual saver. Um, so every time that I come in here, it'll pretty much always be uh, highlighted on story. So that is a massive time saver, and something that I definitely wouldn't have noticed if it wasn't for my amazing viewers. Um, now, the other thing that has been addressed is uh, the fence table has been fixed. Uh, this has been a point of contention for a lot of uh, Red Dead Story Mode fans, uh, but for the last quite a long while, uh, we didn't have uh, these boxes, these crates here, um, and as a result, uh, we just had a floating candle. The candle remained, however, the boxes weren't there. So it looks quite normal now. Um, however, without the boxes there, it looks quite weird. So I'm going to just cut to an image, so just so everyone can see just how truly ridiculous this was and how much of an improvement it, it is to have it back. Albeit small, I think you'll agree that uh, it's a good bug fix. Okay, so have a look at this. This is from a recent legendary animal guide that I did for the channel prior to the summer update. And as you can plainly see, the crates that were there in the last clip, um, they're no longer there anymore. However, something still remains. What is up with this little guy? <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? It looks completely out of place. Um, yeah, quite absurd. I think it's probably good that uh, that got dealt with, to be honest. 
So there you have it. It might be a small graphical glitch, but I'm happy it's fixed and I can understand why other people in the community are as well. Because, you know, when you love a game as much as I imagine we all love Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, um, you, you don't want to see it broken. And so I'm glad the, the devs paid attention and finally got it fixed. Because I think you could, I think we can all agree that it, it looked pretty damn ridiculous. Uh, so up next, we're going to be having a look at what I think is the coolest uh, feature of these new additions that I was informed about, and that is pajamas. <laughs> so hitherto, um, whatever your gang camp location was, currently I'm at Shady Bell. Um, the gang members that were there would wear the same clothes at night as they would during the day. You know, pretty standard. However, I have been so informed that that is no longer the case, that at night they're wearing pyjamas. So we definitely got to go and check that out. But first I'm just going to show you a quick uh, image uh, from a recent Let's Play that shows uh, just their normal clothes at night, what, what it used to look like. So I wasn't really sure if this was necessary, but I wanted to give everyone a full comparison of what the gang members' clothes looked like at night before the summer update. Uh, so you can see it's all pretty standard garb, uh, except for Jack. Uh, ignore Jack on that front, because uh, Jack's just come back from Angelo Bronte's house and he's wearing all sorts of crazy clothes. So. Don't worry about Jack. But everyone else is wearing pretty, pretty standard clothes for what they normally wear during the day. You, know, you can see Pearson's kind of got his butchering uniform on. Um, Miss Grimshaw's kind of got a standard sort of like top and skirt. Hosea in his normal clothes. Um, so yeah, that just sort of gives you an idea of what it used to look like. But um, yeah, we want to see what it looks like now. All right, so here we are at Shady Bell. Let's uh, see if we can find some people wearing pyjamas, shall we? <laughs> doesn't sound creepy at all. Oh, yeah, here's a good start. So we got Abigail and Jack wearing a sort of nightgown-y type thing. Very interesting. Don't mind me. Don't mind me there, Abigail, or I just perv on you. you know, just come up, show everyone. Get up. Yeah, look. What do you look, want? She got them stylish PJs. Looking fancy. Nah, I'm only joking with you. All right, all right, all right. I need to sleep. We'll stop there. We'll stop creeping on you. We'll move on. We'll move on. All right, anyone in here? Any PJ wearers? Any PJ wearers? Oh, oh, oh! Looks like we got something. Yeah, we got Karen. Karen's wearing something a bit different. She got sort of like a. A different pair of shorts, what? different tops. Ah, oh, thanks for thanks for sitting up, Karen. Showing and showing off the new wares. Looking good, looking good. Arthur just creeping on everybody today. Don't don't you worry about Arthur. He's just doing his thing, He's doing his creepy thing. <laughs> oh, looks like we might have one more over here. Who, who's this? We got is it Strauss. That's <laughs> Strauss. What do you need, Arthur? Strauss, my lad. What's going on? You're looking styling, bro. Looking absolutely styling. Sleep, damn it. <laughs> top notch, top notch. Ooh, 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 come back. Are Who are you? You got someone in a nightgown. Girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing. Not happy at all. Uh, <laughs> look, Miss Grimshaw, not in her well, that's not top and skirt. She got a gown as well. Lazy, good for nothing. Uh, <laughs> give it everyone a good, good yelling at. Their station. I mean, in <laughs> it just didn't happen. Talk <laughs> back to a madam? <laughs> I'd have been horse whipped. And I was. Oh, I was horse whipped. And I'm grateful. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's kind of creepy. You're kind of creeping everybody out. Alright, right, well, I think I that kind of gives you a pretty good idea of what we're talking I mean, about. Now, we got um, got all sorts of pajamas going on. Although, I did notice that not everyone was wearing pyjamas. Um, so I'm not really sure if that's something that, you know, kind of changes, um, you know, chapter to chapter, night to night. Um, or maybe if it's just, you know, some people like, you know, hard-nosed bloody biker or Dutch and whoever else, they, they just don't ever wear PJs. They'd never lower themselves 
to the depths of wearing pajamas, um, or if it is, or if it is something that kind of varies. But either way, I think it's pretty cool because you know I feel that any veteran player of story mode is you know they're, they're going to enjoy something like that, just something a little bit different. It's it's kind of cool. Uh, I think <clears throat> I think that covers just about all of the changes um, that I've been informed about. Oh, I did also read in a separate lot of patch notes that they have apparently made alterations to the minimap as well. Um, made it a bit clearer to see, uh, regardless of your brightness settings or your what, what uh, monitor or whatever you might use. Uh, it is apparently now easier to see threats, enemies, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I think that is about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the guide, found it useful, please hit the like button down below. And if you're new around here, um, please also consider subscribing as well. Uh, all of those things really do help out the channel a lot. Um, and I also just wanted to say a special thank you for the recent support on my last uh, content update video. It was absolutely insane. Some of the best support that I've ever gotten on a video and it means the absolute world to me. So, thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, but yeah, until next time, my legends, I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.